that difference a year makes I because I didn't gain weight. Yeah, the cash is looking at me like girl sis. The guy who helped me pack is looking at me like hey, this was not intentional. <laughs> good afternoon hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know i like the first few minutes of this video was just a montage is that what it's called when it's just like many things happening at the same time or little bits and bobs of my ongoings um today's thursday it is in the afternoon now i believe it's 10 past noon it's a public holiday, it's Mashuja Day, which basically is Heroes Day. Mashuja is um, heroes in Kiswahili. Um, I'm home. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in October. Um, I slept in. Actually, I switched off my alarm. And um, I just decided last night when I was going to bed, I'll wake up whatever time my body wants to wake up, but my brain wants to wake up. So I woke up exactly a minute to seven and then i lay in bed for a couple of minutes and i was like you know what i'm ready to get up and i woke up and i went to the gym my gym was open uh today but there was no one which was amazing i think you've seen that already and i got my workout in oh my god i'm feeling so tired i've been pushing myself a little too hard i think and i've been going every day apart from saturday and sunday those are like my rest days 
I'm um, just trying to get back into the workout every day state of mind. I'm also trying to lose a little bit of weight. So that coupled with intermittent fasting and the whole name of the game when it comes especially to weight loss is just patience because I didn't gain weight in a month. So it's all not going to go away in a month but i will see a difference in a month so it's just slow and steady that's how i do it um speaking of slow and steady when it comes to weight loss um a few people reached out to me on instagram on dm and they wanted me to speak on you know all the surgery conversations that have been going on and what are my thoughts and so on I, I just want to, you know, put this out. I think if you're an adult of sound mind, you're, you can make your own decisions. Um, you weigh the risks involved and then you do what you feel is best for you. Um, I personally, I'm just afraid of surgery or the knife, going under the knife. I mean... I, I've had a C-section, and that was just, that was hard for me. Um, the recovery of it, it was just really hard for me. And even today, I think about it. Like if I, you know, God willing, get pregnant and get another child, I'm praying so hard that I just do it the natural way because I'm so afraid of going under the knife. Under yeah, again. So for me, I'm just. It's, it's, I think it's very personal what one decides to do with their bodies. So, uh, yeah, my opinion is I, I personally wouldn't do it, but then again, I, I don't like it's, it doesn't affect me if someone else chooses to do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's to each their own type of conversation. And yeah, to that end, if, you know, going under the knife is a quick fix you want, it's fine. I just prefer slow and steady and just like, because I'm, I'm, I'm just like that. I, I, I know this world is like fast, fast microwave in, out. I just don't mind taking my time and enjoying the, the trip, the journey to wherever it is I'm going to. So whether it's weight loss, growing my platform just i i i am in no rush perhaps that's the that's the right way to to put it and i'm i guess it's just this is the way i am yeah um yeah so then that also segues into another conversation around authenticity in content creation there was also it's i don't know i don't know if because i've just gotten like an influx of followers on my platforms here as well as on Instagram. I've also opened a TikTok account, by the way. TikTok is a different kind of platform. I'm yet to understand TikTok, but also I don't put any pressure on myself to fit in and like blow up on, on social media platforms. I feel like those who are for me will find me type of thing and those who gravitate to my content will stay and we will build this platform together and we will create this community together and that's kind of like my mindset so i'm not really pushing to just ha have like big numbers of audiences that don't really get me or what i'm trying to do so to that extent i don't mind having a small following and you know small is relative uh, having a small following but just like they get it so anyway i'm um, segueing into authenticity in content creation and and that was also an interesting thing that a couple of you have brought up saying you know you really mind your business and you really just do you you don't follow the trends or you don't follow the whatever and i don't think that's to any credit to me per se I I just do me and then I go home 
you know what I mean? I just, I, I come, I do me, and then I go home. Um, and not to mean like, oh, I, I am this or special. First of all, we are all special. We're all unique. We are all unique beings. No one is like you. That is your superpower. But I, then again, like, let, let me say this, like the need to create this really perfect Instagram feed or perfect i'm just i've i've let that go i'm going to post how i feel like posting or how how it feels authentic to me if that means they're all going to be photo images following each other or they're all going to be coffee images following each other and i don't have like a, a page break of whatever i'm just gonna post it like that um yeah, and so in terms of authenticity in content creation, so, uh, the, actually the person who wrote to me said, everyone's feed is looking the same. Like, my God, it's so boring. If you, everyone is wearing beige, everyone's page is very uh, bland and minimal. And, and to that I said, maybe you're just following the same kind of content creator, right? If, if that jure is like capsule wardrobe or like minimal living or like um just a clean aesthetic then that's what you get but i believe there's also a variety of other influencers who and social media and digital content creators who are what's what i'm looking for just loud and boisterous and bright and i'll give a good example she called tanika b tanika b is a luxury fashion influencer and she wears color like i've never seen anyone wear color and she's just a gorgeous educated rich black woman with her husband and her child just globe trotting and she is simply an inspiration to me and i just love her vibe and so there's someone like that so you don't have to always go for the beige bland you know there's options is what i'm trying to say these options um, and sorry, this was not intentional. <laughs> oh, this one is intentional. I was sitting here because I wanted to show you something. But anyway, it's good that we've had this chat. I say that because I'm talking to myself in this room. How awkward. How very awkward. But please, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about that. Um, but yeah, there's choices. There's options. If this one doesn't serve you, please go and find something that serves you. I'm a big, big, big big advocate for that go find what serves you okay if, if this doesn't suit your soul please find something that does life is too short to just be consuming things that don't bring you joy um i want to say this this video that you're watching will probably go live the first week of november or the last few days of october and it's because i'm taking a break in um in november it's my birthday month scorpio season it's my birthday month i'm taking the week the month off uh off of youtube um youtube is very consuming as opposed to i do even say instagram and tiktok um i'm not on facebook and i haven't blogged in a while i really need to get on that bike i also want to like re refurbish rejuge refresh my pinterest i feel like i am now at a place where i can like have boards you know yeah anyway I, I want to work on that but yeah i'm taking november off i just want to rest darlings i want to be at ease uh not that i'm stressed or anything i just feel like i have so much energy and psych and psych to create content this month that that i'm not stopping myself i'm like i should i should pick up a camera and record this i'm feeling really good about this and i want to talk to my people about this and it's been resonating because most of you have written to me saying you're glowing sis continue doing what you're doing we are loving the vlogs we are loving the everything give us more gang gang so obviously it shows and i'm so grateful for that because i've been uh purposefully listening to myself and listening to the things that um that i find ease in doing and not that i am afraid of hard work it's just that i i don't want to like be 
constantly like, oh, like hustling and oh, and pushing. No, if it, especially for content creation, I want it to just flow. Yeah, I just want it to just flow. Anyway, this again, a lot of sidebar conversations. But um, yeah, November. So anything you're gonna watch in November will be would have been filmed in, in advance. I'm going to film up to the 30th of October and then I can rest and be at ease and just enjoy my month. I really, I'm, I'm big on birthdays and I, this one is a good one for me. Um, what a difference a year makes. I'm in such a different head space. I mean, between last birthday and this birthday, so much has changed in my life, right? New home, married, a lot of business changes, a lot of personal like uh, career changes, a oh, and growth, and it's just been amazing. I just want to sit back and reflect and then plan for the year ahead. So November is just like dedicated to to that. Anyway, back to regular programming. Um, I have some items I wanted to show you. I got clothes and a pair of shoes. So both made in Kenya. Let me turn it this way both made in kenya and um i always get giddy about uh, stuff like this so this is a brand called pure purple pure purple and i saw this i was mindlessly i'm not gonna lie mindlessly scrolling instagram and um i came across a post and there was a lady and she was wearing these shoes so so <sighs> Okay, they, they smell like leather, but like, I don't know, like rubber and leather. Anyway, these are the shoes that I got from Pure Purple, and they are genuine leather. They feel actually very soft. Let's try them on. I haven't, I haven't tried them on, guys. Okay, so that's how these shoes look like. Oh, let's straighten this, guys. Come on. Come on, Nelly. Okay, there we go. Um, zooming in, they do feel a little loose, can you see, but, um, I don't mind that they are simply because the ankle strap will secure me, I think, but I don't want to go a size smaller because I got a 39 and I am a 39 and so, yeah, these are the shoes thoughts guys thoughts 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 let me know but i really there's something about this style that just really caught my attention i like them i like them a lot they're very uh summer yeah anyway um i got these shoes love them very much the ordering process was nice and seamless and easy and um yeah and they look just like like so and then the very same day i saw another page um and i didn't even know this company existed i just saw a lady wearing this dress and i was like oh my god that is so beautiful what is that so the company is called uh, bloom bloom <laughs> a beautiful process of becoming bloom underscore kenya i'll also leave their info down below this is not like uh sponsored or anything i I just like what I saw and I went and got it. And even if it was sponsored, let me tell you something, child. You can pay you cannot pay me to lie. Okay? That's not what you can't do. You cannot pay me to lie. Mm -mm. So I I I I fastened the dress and then and then I reached out to them and said, Hey, do you have this in stock? And then I saw a jump to I was like, Oh, do you have this in stock? And then they're like, the dress has just sold out. Drats. And then I was like, okay, then just deliver the jumpsuit. And then the next day, they're like, wait, screw, we have a we have a dress for you. And so I got two pieces. So I'll start with the jumpsuit. Gorgeous. Um, for me, it's the simplicity in how this clothing is made. So it's not like um, what do you call it? Um, complicated, but it's just it's simple and it works and it's perfect for this like hot 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 weather so there's this uh, jumpsuit it has this uh, tie details I'll put, a, I'll put a video here or here of me you know trying this on and it has pockets 
obviously i love that it has pockets and it's just like a like a wide just enjoy your life and it comes with a waist tie now at the bottom it has this elastic thingy which i don't like so what i want to do right i don't like i don't like it it's not comfortable for me so what i want to do guys is i want to just like make a small slit uh, uh probably where there's a, a, the seam just make a small slit and take out the elastic so it's just like flowy and long so that's what i'll do to this ones otherwise perfect love it and then the dress i got it's just a wrap first of all when i got it i was like oh there are no buttons or anything it's just like a loose dress and for me i i think uh, not i think for me for sure when i wrap it over i'm going to put a pin and then i'm going to put a belt over it so it came with this belt and the color was a bit off so the belt is a bit darker than the dress i don't know if you can see it from there though so that's the color of the dress and then that's the color of the belt i don't know if you can tell the difference from camera but in real life when i tie this around it's it doesn't look like it's the same fabric i hope that makes sense but anyway my intention was not to wear the belt that came with it i was going to add my isabel morant belt i did get a uh, an isabel morant belt a while back i just didn't like show it to you or anything, <laughs> or anything. um but yeah i got it uh a while back from flannels um but yeah this is the dress i don't mind the elastic on the arms of this dress beautiful i like the color detail it's just very easy to wear and then yeah as i said it has no fastenings or anything it's just open which for, for me was a little bit unnerving i could be in the streets and then it's just like and then everyone you know i'm exposed everyone sees my goodies girl and these goodies ain't free girl so so I'm just going to put a little pin, that's an easy solve, and then put my Isabel Marant uh, belt on. This can be worn with like high heels because it's super long or flats, which we love. So yeah, those are the two items from Bloom and the shoes from Pure Purple. Love, 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 love. It is still summer, summer, summer. The sun is going nowhere. We're going to be here until next year, February, guys. Um, so best you take care of your clothing needs now, yeah? Um, and I think that's it, you know. Now, um, plan for the day. I want to go to the Orchids Fair. It's called the Orchid Show, the Orchid Fair. It's outside. It starts today. It started at 10. And I want to go there today uh, before it gets, like, crazy. Because I think tomorrow, which is, yeah, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday and Sunday might be a little bit hectic. And I'm also just not available. So we're going to dash there maybe for an hour or so uh take a few photos from my few photos of my orchids and maybe show because they're professionals you can show them everything show them my orchids and then uh maybe buy an orchid i actually bought a hydrangea this morning when i was getting coffee sorry um yeah so shows i am watching oh my god so many options on Showmax. So after making breakfast breakfast today, I sat down and I've been watching White Lotus. White Lotus won an Emmy and they are now on season two. It's a HBO production. <sighs> HBO shows are so good. And uh, I started watching it. I'm on episode three. Pure and utter madness and chaos. That's this lady. It was her first day. Lotus, White Lotus is a resort in Hawaii. And so it's centered around the guests that have come and the staff. Chaos. Chaos. With a Y. Chaos. This lady, it's her first day at work. She's nine months pregnant and she ends up having the child the first day in her boss's office. Anyway, but the guests are something else. Uh, you'll be very highly entertained. It's comedy, but it's... Um, I don't want to say drama, but it's good. It's good TV here for it i've also been watching the game i've also been watching blood psalms i've also been watching uh we own the city i finished that i've also been watching county 49 i've also been watching my god my son loves 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 the selection of shows on show maps there's this section called edutainment and edutainment basically is edu educate 
education and entertainment so there's like this shows there's there's a cartoon called the snail on the whale the snail on the whale it's a beautiful story of a snail that travels the world like the seas on the back of a, a whale and it's told so beautifully and it's just you can see his eyes just like the imagination that what it, it really helps this kind of shows really help children with storytelling uh, creative writing because in their school they do a lot of creative writing rhyming he loves like rhyming words and you know so if mummies daddies check out show max check out the edu edutainment section you will be pleasantly surprised and with that guys i think i will talk to you or or we're going to like show a montage of the orchid show and then come back home and to be back home before four come back home and make a nice zesty cocktail and just wind down you know for the day tomorrow is friday so it's a work day um i'm expecting a couple of packages birthday gifts <laughs> so i might you'll see a few luxury unboxings after this this video the next week will be an unboxing and another week after that and then maybe there'll be a giveaway so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed because i don't put the giveaway uh in my subject you have to watch the video to know if there's a giveaway or not okay so yeah it's going to be a long vlog i'm already 11 minutes in plus all the other minutes let's go to the orchid show shall we before orchid show my outfit of z day is so i did uh this is a sew in and it doesn't look its best because i was at the gym yesterday and today but trust me it's a side part it's just that i have like pressed it down but and then i trimmed it so it's like 14 inches but i had it like blunt cut because i had styled it as um what do you call it uh, a straight with a curve at the end um i'm not wearing an ounce of makeup I just love my skin doing what it does. My headband is from, not headband, Twilly is from Etro. My husband is only introduced me to this brand, by the way. This is this is a gift from him. So the 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 brand is called Etro. It's an Italian brand. Michelle Obama wears stuff from Etro. Like, I'm in good company. Anyway, it's from Etro. And then I'm wearing false lashes, but they're stick-ons. So I put this in today when I was at the gym. So I've been, if I'm not wearing like a full face of makeup, I will do a little some something, something with my lashes. I'm still not very good at this, but I'm better than I was. That's all that matters. I'm gonna wear some earrings because I feel like I'm a bit plain Jane. Mm, maybe lip gloss. And then my romper, jumper, sorry. My jumper is from Mango. This is an oldie. It's an oldie. It's from 2019. Mm -hmm. And it's cotton. Love it. Buttons, waist tie. I love the sleeves. I love the length. And I was wearing my oldies. My old worn out Oran sandals. And um, I think for my bag, I'm just going to carry a, a, a simple small bag. Uh, because I'll be... <clears throat> walking around and I want to be hands-free so maybe something crossbody maybe my purple bag one second maybe her for a pop of color actually that's not a bad idea see that is not a bad idea at all so this and then my shoes are they're they're downstairs they are the gold oran or brown oran yeah that's actually what i'm gonna wear today let's go to the orchid show let's go to the orchid show
I'm so irritated. Oh, I had to like count back 1090. I had to do a busa. Um, I'm at the mirror because I wanted to show you guys how I style these shoes from Pure Purple. They are they are very comfortable, very very comfortable, but they do make noise when I walk. I don't know if you can hear this. They make noise um, when I walk, and I, it's the same noise I get when when I walk with my amaz. I don't know if it's because they are loose, but these aren't loose. I just don't know why they're making that sound. Um, unless I'm walking on carpet, obviously you won't hear it. But on just like wood, like this, it's very noisy. Uh, but they're comfortable and i really like the look of them i really really do if you end up getting a pair please tell the lovely lady nelly sent you or nelly invo um, influenced you yeah anyway i am home now as you can see <sighs> slightly 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 irritated so i left um capital club and successfully did successfully managed to do a lot of work a lot of office work i finished a lot of my client work i finished and went to the um, supermarket i had a shopping list right so i shop 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 the only thing i carried was my card because my phone was dying so i didn't have my phone so i shop 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 get to the counter i put in my pin and it says uh wrong pin and i'm like huh okay try again it says same thing wrong wrong pin then they ask for another pdq machine because they thought maybe their machine is spoiled in fact that lady was looking at me like girl is, is this card yours <laughs> she was looking at me like are you sure mm, yeah so anyway they bring another um pdq machine and i put the car the pin and i do it it's so automatic because my pin has been my pin for, for a while and so i put my pin and it actually says you have maximized the limit of trying so yeah sorry and i'm like what is happening so i've done all this shopping it's sitting right there the cashier is looking at me like girl sis the guy who helped me pack is looking at me like really madam really you're that guy anyway so i apologize i ran back to the car in this heat i ran back to the car and <laughs> i go to my bank's contacts and i call and it says we are currently unable to serve you something something systems are down so i can't even reach my bank to tell them hi i can't use my money i can't use it i can't withdraw atm i can't pay at a pos i can't withdraw from mpesa what is and up until now it's been an hour almost an hour i haven't had back from my bank i've take i've um emailed my relationship manager to be like wtf give me all my money back thank you i'll put it under my bed and just carry like an envelope when i need to go shopping because what is this <sighs> anyway i ended up paying from my um mpesa business so the shops the boutiques um mpesa i ended up paying from there but yo i felt so stranded for a while i was like okay so now i'm just gonna like call my husband and be like hi please send me a pesa of x i'll explain <laughs> is it he would tell me but for a moment there i was like what the hell anyway um yeah so that really really irritated me it really irritated me oh, god i just want to put all my money under my bed now in a small cassock under my bed anywho i'm home um i feel like i need to take a nap we have date night tonight we're going out to dinner um and if you know a few drinks feel good so I think I need to take a nap so I can move so I wake up happy. I need to be happy on my date. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Want to wrap up the vlog then. Um, but yeah. What's up?
know happy saturday um just getting ready um just had breakfast hanged out a bit oof um in the house um this is me hello i'm looking for my sunnies one second okay i just want to show you guys my outfit for saturday i'm really loving the outfit um i'm gonna put on my sunnies because it's one of those days i'm not wearing any makeup i'm off to art class um and this is my outfit of the day i just turned the camera around but i'm loving it it's so nice so very nice so i'm wearing the dress from bloom bloom kenya i love it um you saw me straighten my hair well not straighten but like blow blow dried with my blow dryer thing if you've watched my other video where i was doing my hair from home it's a purchase i made that i really love and i've been uh, using it religiously especially on uh, my wigs and weaves so the hair i am wearing is 14 inches of geek hair i will leave it linked down below and then i did three bundles and then i had them all trimmed so that i can get this like blunt cut so when you flat high on or blow dry and the hair just sits like that for a much longer time anyway it looks like it's growing out of my head which is a big plus uh, my necklace is my gold necklace and i've added a pendant this is an n for my name i'm wearing some tiny earrings again i mentioned no makeup uh, my watch is a lady day just rolex i've gotten requests to do a watch collection video which is interesting because i didn't think my audience is into like watches and stuff um maybe i'll just create like a tiktok um video talking about the watches i own and how they've served me and so on so yeah but this is the gold and it's the rolex they just uh gold with a presidential bracelet that's what they call this bracelet if you're into watches that makes sense and then on the other hand i have my other ring and this is my dress love her i've put a pin here because i'm afraid i'm afraid of the dress just opening and exposing me uh, but it's a gorgeous dress it's in this gorgeous color earlier um on this vlog i showed you guys this dress just look at that oh i'm carrying my loewe basket bag i have a an unboxing of this bag and what fits inside my hermes sandals these are the old ones the ones that are just falling apart and that is outfit of the day my sunglasses are from woolies but they're old so i don't think you'll you'll be able to get these but they're they're gorgeous every once in a while woolies do do a good sunny and that's it i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for hanging out with me please subscribe comment like this video share if you care i'll catch you on my next one sending you love and light peace